Verge here. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Dionese Raison 2 leather jacket. So this is a newer version of the Raison. Really, we're going to see a very light style change. This is a, a perennial favorite within Dionese's line because it really is just a classic black leather motorcycle jacket aimed at a V-twin and cafe inspired audience. Now, this is going to come in around the $530 price point, and you're going to see this as something that we're going to say is probably two season in its functionality. This is going to be spring into the fall. If you are looking at riding this throughout the warmest of the summer months, just keep in mind that while you get a little bit of ventilation up at the chest, um, there's no real perforation here. So it is a solid leather jacket. So it's probably going to get a bit toasty in the warmest of the summer months, just depending on where you reside. Maybe you live up in Maine and uh, at night in late August, it gets cool. So Again, it really depends on where you reside. So if we're taking a look at a size for this, Mr. McHugh on my left-hand side stands at a commanding six foot tall, not quite as tall as me, but he's trying. He weighs in at 220 pounds and he has a 44 inch chest. He's wearing a size 56. That correlates perfectly with Dionysus size chart. So no real surprises if you're using the size chart. Sizes will range from a 44 up to a 60. Black is the only colorway. And when we're looking at this particular jacket, again, just kind of talking about sizing, it's not that really aggressive kind of a sport tuck that you'd expect from some Dionese leather jackets. Again, this really is aimed at the V-Twin Cafe Cruiser crowd. So a little bit more of a relaxed cut and a relaxed fit. Slight pre-curve to the sleeve. We'll see when Mr. McHugh strikes the riding position, but overall more relaxed than what you'd see from some of Dionese's more aggressive jackets. Starting with the top and working our way through, you have a Cordoba cowhide construction with this. Cordoba is an area in Spain known for leather production, and you're gonna get some S1 stretch material working its way down the inside of the arm. Taking a look at the collar, two inch collar to this, no real snapback. Would have been nice to have seen a snapback here, but just keep that in mind if you're somebody that does not like to snap your collar all the way, there is no real area to snap that collar back. It's just gonna be open and flapping around. Working your way down the arms, you are getting CE level protection, CE level one protection at the elbows and the shoulders. And the protector that's in this is gonna be Dionysus proprietary CE level one, very breathable armor, but again, for a jacket coming in north of that $500 price point, it would have been nice to see CE Level 2 armor included. As it stands right now, the jacket is rated as a CEA jacket from an abrasion standpoint as well. Same thing there. Would have been nice to see them maybe bump up to a CEAA rating considering the price point of this particular jacket. Working its way down the arm, you're gonna see that S1 material. The only note here is that it does seem like it's a bit bulky right in the uh, the crux of the elbow. But again, just keeping in mind that if you're considering this jacket and you have larger arms, maybe you hit the gym on like Mr. McHugh, um, you would need a little bit of extra room in there and other Dionysia jackets might not fit. So the S1 stretch is gonna work for those of you out there that might be a bit bulkier in your, in your top section. Single snap closure at the cuff, and then you're gonna notice that you do have that leather insert here, so just keeping that in mind, uh, you're not gonna be able to you know, open the jacket up and kinda of like fold it back because of that insert, and that's just, again, playing into that CE rating. You have vents on both sides, so symmetrical with its venting, and then just dual hand warmer pockets down both sides as well. Mr. McHugh, go ahead and face sideways for me. You're gonna see just a bit of the, the stretch leather at the back here. And then again, clean leather designs. Would have been interesting to see maybe a little bit of that S1 stretch material at the back as it stands right now. Two position snap at the waist on this. The one note here is that there is no connection zipper and there's no belt loops. So would have loved to have seen at least belt loops with this if you're wearing it with riding jeans to be able to go over there and kind of keep the jacket down in the back. McHugh, speaking of the back, why don't you face backwards for me? So just keep that in mind. There are no belt loop connections with this. That would be a nice to see for a future iteration. Dionysia Demon Head logo stretched or stitched in the back here. No, no back protector is included. You want to add the back protector if you want that full complement of protection. I do know that there's some riders out there that don't like riding with armor. They just want the leather for abrasion resistance. Um, this is a jacket where if you really absolutely wanted to, you could pull the, the armor out and just wear it as a abrasion resistant leather jacket. Don't recommend that, but I do know that that is something that is popular depending on the circle that you are riding in. 
So no back protectors included, no belt loops there, just clean lines down the back. Dionysia does a good job of keeping branding relatively minimal on this. You are gonna see the Demon Head logo in a couple little areas, but it's mostly subdued stitching. And then Pat, just face me for a second. You're gonna see it over on the, uh, the left bicep as well, as well as the right bicep, so symmetrically working the logo in there. Go ahead and face forward. We're gonna unzip. No liner to this, very basic, clean interior. You're gonna have some interior pockets, Napoleon pocket over on the right side, drop pocket on the left. But like I said earlier, no connection zippers or anything like that. So very basic, clean lines on the inside. Sir, you can go ahead and zip up for me. So really what we're seeing here with the Raison 2 is a continuation of what has been so popular within Dionysus' line of the Raison 1. They really didn't wanna to change too much with this. They wanted to keep what people have really liked about it but they did update the armor with a few different styling touches here. Again, you're coming in around that $530 price point, which is a more affordable leather jacket within Dionysus' line. And this is really aiming at the, uh, the V-twin kind of cafe crowd. For anybody out there just looking for a simple, clean lined black leather jacket that's gonna work on a variety of different motorcycle types. So if you want more information on the Raison 2, you wanna hear what other riders have to say, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can check out the product page and you can read reviews from other riders out there like yourself that are putting the Raison 2 through its paces. If you're still not sure as to which leather jacket is right for you and your riding style, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through a variety of different leather jackets to make sure that you find the right one to match up with your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Dionysia Raison 2 leather jacket. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.